Good evening, everyone. Central New York trying to process yet another tragedy. A 14-year-old girl apparently shot and killed by her father before he turned the gun on himself. The unthinkable crime unfolding in Baldwinsville. Tonight, we're learning more about the timeline and who Ava Wood was. When 14-year-old Ava Wood didn't show up to Durgy Junior High School Friday morning, her mother called 911, asking police to conduct a welfare check on her daughter and estranged husband, who lived in this home in the village of Baldwinsville. The woman provided a set of keys to our officers, and we entered and uh, searched that residence. What they found inside? The unimaginable. Ava shot and killed in her bedroom. The suspect? Her father. 51-year-old Christopher Wood found in a separate room, dead from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. It's not an easy scene for either one of us to, to witness. Both the sheriff and I have been involved in law enforcement for a long time. And to have to walk through a scene such as that is not an easy thing for us to do. Onondaga County Sheriff Toby Shelley says the father had a history of domestic abuse. There's two past incidents involving the um, mother and the father. Uh, one was last March. In, in 2022, and one was two days ago. They did invent and did involve violence. Ava was a ninth grader, a high achieving student athlete on the honor roll, and a part of the JV soccer team and track and field. To have a young girl age 14 whose life is cut short and not be able to experience uh, growing up in college and all those types of things that uh, we all look forward to for ourselves and our children, and uh, this is just. Uh, a real, real tragedy for, for our Baldwinsville community. Acting school superintendent Joseph DeBarbery sharing the tragic news in an email to parents this morning, saying in part, quote, we are a close-knit school community and our hearts are broken by this tragedy. Our thoughts are with Ava's family and friends during this extremely difficult time. The district's crisis response team will be providing counseling services from 10 to 1 tomorrow and Sunday at Durgy Junior High.